what is up everybody i'm checking out this documentary it's called driven the javon blake story I've never actually seen javon blake run but i've seen a video snippet of him i think it may have been like a pocket rocket um, video snippet so yeah man this is my first time watching this uh, this one is produced by sonia stewart and directed by nigel austin link to the original video is in the description so if you want to check it out for yourself you can go ahead and uh, click on that without further ado let's get right into it javon blake was the phenomenal and inspirational captain of the jamaica college track team from september 2020 to july 2022 he's from one of jamaica's roughest toughest inner city communities waterhouse but that did oh okay so he's from the same um hometown as shelly ann success for javon was earned the once fragile and shy boy was overlooked in the first half of first form by the then coach at jamaica college and so i came here and i was just being overlooked i was not as developed as everybody else I was so timid and shy and I thought that I'd come here and this guy would pay me. He knows me, so I thought he'd, you know. He's very well spoken. Do the drills, anything, nothing at all. And, uh, you know, it, I did it for a week and I decided it was too painful. I, I was not being, you know, invested in. I was just wasting my time and that this was not going to work out. So I stopped after a week and I told my mom that I'm never doing it again. After that rejection. Can you imagine if he like really really stopped? First form, Dwayne Johnson, his now coach, discovered him on Sports Day. I was at Sports Day. I was forced to run the 800 and the 1500 meters, and he saw me and he was like, "Why are you not an athlete?" And I just thought to myself that you know I'm not an athlete. I I'm look at me. I was not going to survive. That's the, the, you know, the classic athlete story, you know, somebody else recognizing something in you that you don't see just yet. You know what I'm saying? That's a classic athlete story. First, tracks just did not click for Javon. He wanted to stay focused on his books. He was hesitant, I guess, because in his mind, tracks is not for him started to warm up to the idea because you know when you're actually selling something to a, a child that's intelligent you can't just tell them and expect that they're going to accept it started to believe and it became that's a point. very good point um you know trying to convince somebody who's so intellectually profound and you know just smart because a kid like javon is so analytical and like logical and Everything just has to make sense. And sport is an unconventional career field to go into. So, I mean, I get why it was so hard to get him on board. ...concrete structure surrounded by a zinc fence in what could be described as a lane, where young men are often building splits on the corners. The sound of gunshots rang out frequently. Too bad. We are free. When they must see me, I feel to do a watch. Wow, when they come down the house, and then I walk and burn down the yeah. house. Me have to see them what I do outside. I watch if any fire go through us, we can't run, go grab them up. Life, it's man, is so tough. No one should have to live under these circumstances. On baby sister, Nastasia Blake said she hears the sound of gunshots and police sirens too frequently. Very rough. In the middle of the night, about one or two o'clock when I'm still up watching anime, I'll hear gunshots and all. She says she watches anime up at 1, 2 a.m. But they have nowhere to go. This is their home. This is their reality. Jara now wants those dreams for her son. The dreams she never had. She hopes he can be the next Usain Bolt. Blake, one day, you are gonna become a next Usain Bolt. With a big foot the way you are from your little bit, you are gonna become the next Usain Bolt and me push him every me, me day, whether me at work, me tell her a lie. My mother, yes, she sit there, tell a lie. 
trust for the wish party him there. Him father not really there every night anyway. Sometimes I have to uh, get to. Then, as me a big, big, biggest motivator, me there everywhere. Having that parental support, you know, makes such a huge difference in a kid's life. Um, you know, but also not everybody's parents can be there for them, right? And not every kid has parents um, to support them like that. So when they are there, it's always a blessing that, you know, like parents will drop everything to be there for their kid. Humble. Runner? Well, no, I know that he liked to run. And I know that he didn't want to run because he said it himself that he didn't want to run. It was too much. He wanted to just focus on his studies, but mother pushed him. Javon was not just an athlete. He was also a brilliant student. When he commands to book work, I guarantee Blake, him always want to come first. If he not come first, him cry. And it's all about him book. And if he not come first, him, him cry. So him, him always, if him even not get it and him see it, me have to go to the teacher, me have to say, Blake said this, and him want to know how it go, and him want to know where him go. No one was surprised that Javon won a place at one of Jamaica's most prestigious high schools, Jamaica College. It has the distinction of producing the island's most prime ministers okay. and cabinet ministers. Sixth grade now. Um, I'm dead here and I said, Mommy, I'm going to pass the JC because I always care. What other um, track stars went to Jamaica College? It was always a school I wanted to come to. When I, when I was younger, I used to praise, basically just like, oh, I want to be like you. When I saw like the blue uniforms walking around the place, it was so different. And for me, it was a little prestigious. It was prestigious. Javon was now at Jamaica College, but how was he going to make it without financial help? So he penned a letter to one of the fastest women alive. It's a quick start, and with it, she takes the glory. So I'm going to end it there for, you know, copyright reasons, and it's a bit long. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out um, on when I post the part two reaction of this documentary. I love it so far, you know, got introduced to Yvonne Blake, got to see his rise and his introduction into track and field and how he was scouted and recruited by his coach, Coach Johnson. He ended up at Jamaica College. So I can't wait for the next part. They're going to get into, you know, the pocket rocket and Shelly and uh, Fraser Price connection and how she supported him with his studies and also, and also with his uh, athletic um, endeavors. And man, I can't wait to see the glory of the story. All classic athlete stories, it starts off very sad. Oh, and in some cases, it ends up pretty positive. And fortunately, this is one of those stories. If you haven't seen this documentary and you want to see the unedited version, make sure you go ahead and click on the link to the original video in the description. As always, thank you so much for watching, especially if you made it this far. I will see you in the next video.